Okay, in the last video we created a treasure chest in Studio Max 2009. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply texture to this treasure chest. So what I've done is I've went ahead and created this texture in Photoshop. Basically it's a wood grain texture. And then on top of this wood grain texture I placed a metallic texture around. I created a lock. And then I did the same thing over here um, so that it's going to represent the side of the treasure chest. So once you have your texture, um, you can go ahead and close it out. We need to load that texture as a material into Studio Max before we can place it onto our model. In order to do that, you can go to the top right hand corner and click on Material Editor or you can just press M as a hotkey. That's going to bring up your Material Editor. And we're going to select the first material at the top and if you come to the middle you'll see ambient diffuse and specular we're going to click the button to the right of diffuse that's going to let us load a bitmap in it's going to change your parameters here and if you come to the center you'll see the word bitmap click on none because we have no bitmap and it's going to bring up our selection window and let's go ahead and select the texture that I have which is treasure chest I'm going to load that in and what it did is it loaded your texture here you'll see it on your material and we can now apply this um, material to our model so let's click on select we're going to drag over the entire model because we want there are two pieces and we want to put the texture on both pieces the top and the bottom click assign material to section you can see that it actually turned gray that lets you know that you put the material on the model but you can't see the material if you want to see it, we're going to come back to the material editor and click on show standard map in viewport. That's going to let us see the material on the model. So what we need to do is lighten up the material. So let's go back to the material editor. We're going to click on go to parent. It's going to take us back one window and we're going to look for color and color should be zero. This is self illuminating color. We want it to illuminate 100%. So let's go ahead and change this zero next to color to 100. You can just scroll up or you can type it in. And you'll notice that now it's 100% lit. Let's go ahead and close out the material editor. And what we need to do is apply a modifier on top of this to let us modify our texture coordinates. We're going to go click on modify at the top. That's going to give us this modify drop down list. We're going to click here, scroll to the bottom, and we're going to search for unwrap UVW. And since you have both um, sections selected, when you click unwrap, it's going to put an unwrap modifier on both of these sections, the top and the bottom. So, what we're going to do is we're going to edit both of these one at a time. So let's click select. We're going to select the bottom piece first. We're going to do the bottom because it's a it's pretty easy. It's just a square. So let's go ahead and and change it. So once you have the bottom selected, you'll notice over here that you have now a modifier um, unwrap UVW. We're going to go ahead and click the plus in front of that and you can modify the vertex, the edges or, or the faces and we're going to modify the faces. So select face. It should turn yellow. Let's come here and rotate around. And what I want to do is I want to select all of the faces here. So in order to select all faces, let's go to the right. We're going to pull down the menu and we're going to look for ignore back facing. We're going to uncheck ignore back facing so that we'll be able to select all faces. Even if it's behind another face. So now let's go and select. And we're going to drag over the entire model. And now you see it turns red. If it doesn't turn red for you, press F2 to toggle between what's selected and what's not. It should turn red. And now you can see we're just going to double check and make sure everything is selected. Now since all faces are selected, let's go ahead and press F2 so that we can see the faces. We know they're still selected, but we just don't want to see the red area. And I'm going to slide this over to the left hand side. Now what I'm going to do while this is selected, we're going to come over here to the right and we're going to go down and we're going to click on edit under parameters. And that's going to open up an edit UV window. So I'm going to move that over here. Click on top right hand corner. 
you have a drop down it's going to show all materials that you've loaded we're going to select our treasure chest material and it's going to show you your material in the background by default it's going to be dark um, but what we can do is we can brighten that up if you go to the bottom you'll see options we're going to click on options and let's scroll this window up and at the very bottom you'll notice that there's brightness and it's set to 0 0.5 which is half we're going to change that to 1 uncheck tile bitmap so once you've done that you can close options and what we're going to do is we're going to resize the faces to fit um, our model over here so let's go to the top and click on freeform mode and you'll notice now that you have the option to scale this at any size you want and basically what we're going to do is we're going to scale our faces that we have selected down to fit a portion of our texture and so I have a section here of the texture which is the side of the box that I'm going to use I'm going to scale this to fit just this section here and notice that as I'm changing it here it's changing over here so you can kind of see what's going on as you move your um, faces around that looks pretty good it doesn't have to be perfect let's just scroll around and make sure now since we selected all sides you'll notice that all sides got affected even the bottom and they all have the exact same texture so that's a quick way of doing all of the sides we want to have the lock in the front of the treasure chest here so what we're going to do is now since we have all sides we're going to close this out and we're just going to concentrate on the front so let's close that out choose the selection tool we're going to come back and click off screen we're going to click off screen that's going to deselect everything to make sure nothing is selected no faces and now we're going to come back and only click the front face and now you see that it selected the front face um, just to verify we're going to hit F2 and now you see that it only this face is selected and not the back faces but that's what we want just the front okay I'm going to hit F2 so we know that we have the front selected even though we don't see it anymore so let's go back over and we're going to scroll down until we see the option under map parameters that says quick planar map so we're going to click on that and what that did is it actually you'll see over here it remapped just the front face it reset it to a default so now that allows us to work with the front and not affect the sides so let's scroll back over here back to the top and click on edit and now you'll notice that this represents the front face and that it's aligned with the texture so anything we do here is going to affect the front over here make sure freeform is selected again move this actually move this down first notice as I'm moving it's changing it here click zoom zoom in and get even more detail we're just going to zoom in here and get closer and basically all I'm doing is this represents what's in front so we want to align this where the lock is at the bottom or where the lock is at the top here so that when I scroll around you'll start to see the the bottom of the lock here and the rest of it is unaffected okay it looks like the bottom of our treasure chest is complete now we can focus on doing the exact same thing to the top so let's close this out we're going to click off screen to make sure nothing is selected close out the faces and now we're going to click on the top 